Hi, this video is going to cover the arteries that supply the lower limbs. So what we're going to do is we're going to once again start with just a really simple heart to get us started, nothing fancy. And then we're going to add in a few landmarks that we need to be aware of. So we'll start with the diaphragm. And then we're going to mark in these diagonal lines are going to represent your inguinal ligaments. They're important. A little bit lower, we're going to mark these little mouse holes, I call them. This is going to be the adductor hiatus. And then just distal to that will be in this diamond-shaped region found at the posterior aspect of the knee. And this is the popliteal fossa. So we're going to start once again with the arch of the aorta. We're not going to worry about the branches coming off the top of the arch of the aorta this time. We're going to show you now the descending aorta. So if we label this number one, that will be the arch. This section here we can refer to as the thoracic aorta. Once we pass through the diaphragm, we'll now refer to this as the abdominal aorta. And around the L4 vertebral level, the abdominal aorta is going to split and it's going to split into left and right common iliac arteries. The word common tells us that this artery is going to split again, and it does so almost immediately on each side into our internal and external iliac arteries. I'll draw this on both sides. It's completely symmetrical. We're going to point out the internal iliac arteries for one reason only, and that's because there are two small branches that arise from that vessel that supply the gluteal muscles, and those are the superior and inferior gluteal arteries. If you return your attention to number six, the external iliac artery, this artery will eventually pass deep to the inguinal ligament, and when it does that, it's going to be renamed, and this is now going to be the femoral artery. The femoral artery has one large branch in the anterior thigh, and this is called profunda femoris, or the deep branch of the femoral artery. As the femoral artery passes through the thigh, eventually it's going to pass through this adductor hiatus, and that takes it from the anterior thigh into the posterior thigh. And once you end up here in the posterior thigh and popliteal fossa, this artery gets renamed the popliteal artery. Just distal to the popliteal fossa, the popliteal artery will split into two branches. We're going to have anterior tibial artery and posterior tibial artery. And from the posterior tibial artery, we get a small branch, the fibular artery. Everything will be symmetrical on the other side of the body as well.